Oh, well, hello there, folks. Pew pew. Welcome back. What was that? We are here back again for the third of three amazing boxes that I was sent by a subscriber. Literally can't say thank you enough. In case you don't know me, and this is the very first time you're here, hi, my name is Stephanie Canada. Yes, just like the country, and no, I don't live there. <whistles> Haven't done that in a while. That was kind of fun. I have been a vintage pattern seller for the better part of 12 years, and I have the best subscribers, one of which actually sent me three boxes of amazing vintage patterns. We have already opened two of them on the channel, and most of them have found new homes, but we still have this box. That's heavy. So we're gonna go ahead and dive on in and see what box number three has to hold. Hang on, you need a better angle. There you go. Okay. Did I bring scissors for paper? No. Pen, it is then. That's the box. And what do we have this time? A box I didn't fully open. Shit. That's better. <laughs> that's for me. Ooh, well, that's pretty. Wow, that's really nifty. It's like a stretch. Bloop. We got some lace this go around. Focus. I wasn't recording. Here you go, now you have better audio. Okay, we have pretty lace. Ooh, that's really pretty. It's really pretty pink. It, this color is not showing up on this camera. Is it showing? Look at that. That'll be cute for my kid. That'll, that'll stay with me. That's cute. And then I'm guessing this white cord is what is separating. It's corduroy, by the way, corduroy. I'm gonna let you see first. Cause I, I'm, I'm excited and ho oh, <laughs> yes. Amazing. Okay, let's get them out. And now we're gonna make piles with my eyes closed. I keep my eyes closed so that it's a surprise. Ta-da! I know, they're sad little yeets. And of course we have our trusty friend Ghost here to help us along the journey. Cause unfortunately we have had times where we've needed to use him. Where'd the one go that I... Okay, well, that's all right. We'll start here instead. Starting with late 70s, early 80s, Vogue number 8059. This one, what the heck do you say? Oh, very faintly, it says size 20 and a half, which is a bust 43. It's like a nice little surplus with a little slightly pleated skirt and a jacket pattern. That is one thing I will say about these boxes. They do tend to have lots of things that are above a bust 40, which is chef's kiss. Okay, we'll keep going with this stack and we'll keep an eye out for remnants of Bob. We're gonna stay in the 80s this go around with Vogue 8082, which is a bust 43, another 20 and a half. I actually, these pockets are kind of interesting, like the little tulip pockets, very cute. Good straight skirt and very billowy blouse. And a nice and easy factory fold, which means that since this pattern rolled off the assembly line at Vogue, it has never been used, which means it is complete and I have no need to check it other than saying that it is UC-FF, which means uncut and factory folded, which is the best way to find a pattern because it's the best bet that everything is complete. Sometimes sellers don't always tell you if things are complete or missing pieces, but on my website, I absolutely do. Okay, next up. Oh, there you are. There you are. There's where it went. Simplicity 4312 is the one I wanted to start with because it was one right on top. This is a bust 34, a nice tie top and shorts or pants PJ set. I do know that a lot of folks actually turn these into summer sets as well. So chef's kiss, we love that one. Are you factory folded? No, it is. These are never factory folded. Wow, that's cool. 1960s Vogue time. Here we have Vogue 7516. It is a bust 36. It is going to be this tunic and skirt or mm, possibly bell bottoms. Yeah, they've got a touch of a flare down there. Sometimes the front drawings can be a little exaggerated. So you do always need to check the back line drawing to make sure that the pants that you see up front are actually the ones that you're going to make. Definitely not factory folded because she, she's a leaner. 
lean in. So that one will be checked. Okay. Um, oil. That's a thing that happened. Vogue, uh, 7855. There we are. It is a vest pattern uh, with one half pants. Anyway, it's for this vest right through here. Unfortunately, nothing else will come with this pattern. It might be complete because there's not going to be a whole lot of pattern pieces, but the envelope, she has seen better days. And thankfully, no bob markings. Huzzah. Oh. Ho oh, ho. Hello. Wow. Vogue 7909. I, I mean, it's not a secret pant, but it's just about as close as you're going to get. That is impressive. Look at the flare on those. Wow. It is a little bit on the smaller side. It is a waist 29 of a hip of 40, but daggone, that is one heck of a pair of pants. <gasps> Y'all, I literally was just telling someone the other day that I never find Betsy Johnson patterns in good condition. I just don't. They are usually used, abused, because they were, they were good patterns. They were used a lot and we love that. Look at this one. Holy cow. It's butter at 4089. It's a size 28, which means the waist size is going to be 28. That is so cool. Before we get to like, Stephanie, why are you getting so excited about this? The thing with Betsy Johnson patterns is they were very highly sought after because of her name. And because of that, they'd be used and used and used and used and used like this one. And so the fact that this one is in such good shape and I don't even know if it's ever been used, if I'm being honest. I will, let's look. Let's look together right now. Let's find out. Cause it's a gorgeous wrap skirt. Whew. That's never been used. Never been used. Not once. Not one time has that been used. That's spectacular. Ah, oh, so cool. <laughs> These boxes are just fantastic. I love it. Let's go on to while still cute, not nearly as exciting for me personally, but this cute little quick sew, number 1481, is going to be all the sizes, assuming it hasn't been cut. And it looks like it's like a little pantaloon set and petticoat set. This is really good for like square dancing, so it's kind of what these were made for. But they're also really good like if you just want fun undergarments. Like, look at that sweep. You could also turn that into a skirt. Like, why not? Go for it. And this waist will go from 23 and a half all the way up to 36 and a half. You haven't been bobbed, have you? No, 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 you haven't. Okay, great. I don't have enough room. I did this all wrong. Staying in quick sew. There is the dress to go with it. <laughs> we got quick sew 1158 and by golly, that is absolutely square dance town or just general vintage dress town. I love the slightly raised yoke through this skirt, the, all the, all the tear ruffles. That's a lot of skirt and I love it. Very cute. This one has a scoop neck with a little ruffle around and puff sleeves. Again, this is going to be a 14 through a 20. So this is going to be the larger size range that they would offer. And the bust is going to be from a 38 and a half all the way to a 43. And I don't think it's been, nope, hasn't been cut because this was designed to be traced. Some people did cut them, but this one looks good. So this one should have all the sizing. Moving on to the, well, staying in the 1970s. <laughs> This is Simplicity 5506. We are looking at a bust 46. Oh, we love to see it. This is gonna be a tunic top, two very large collars. And I, can you do the pants? No, nope, pants are a different one, but it's the dress or the tunic. Not factory folded, we'll need to be checked. Ooh, okay, you got nommed on. Nom, nom, nom. But you're cute. This is a New York pattern, just cause I, I know. New York 1284. And it is going to be a princess line dress. It's got sl a slight little take in through here that gives a gentle gather on the side of the bust, patch pockets, and the cutest little sleeves or long sleeves. It is only going to be a bust 30. It's going to be the smallest. It got nommed on. I think the pattern's okay. It actually might be factory folded and just smooshied. I've seen this a lot with the New York patterns. For some reason, when they would fold them, they would like bulk it slightly to one side. So if it ever adjusted over the years, like ones I would get really crunched down like this. Oh, New Yorks are so good though. Well, hello, Sailor. Butterick 4669 in a size medium is going to be this lingerie set with a very high slit. 
I like the crossover of the slip because there's like one big piece that goes down into the high waist and then the other piece that connects in and a very drapey blousey robe situation. Medium is going to be a bust 34 to a 36. Now we have another cutesy little mail order pattern here. It is going to be 49.45, probably from the 70s, maybe even the 80s by this point. But it is a 22 and a half, which means it is a bust 45. I do think it has been used. No, I'll be darned. It has not. Well, there you go. Factory folded. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, that's that's one heck of a drawing now, ain't it? Vogue 8182 is quite the drawing. I, I don't I don't know what we were doing with all the trim detail in this drawing, but I mean, if it makes you happy, sure. It is a very high neckline, almost like a blousey, not quite caftan, but very blousey, just like straight line dress. But they are heavy on the trim, all the trim. Can you do the pants? Yes, you can, you can do the pants. And it is another bust of 43 and factory folded. Ha ha. Oh, well look at you. This is Simplicity 7655. It is from the 1960s. It is a bust 43 for this little slightly house dressy moment. Pretty sure that's a zip front all the way up with two patch pockets. I like that. I'm not going to keep it. Oh uh, yes, and also if you are new here, I do let myself keep one per box. And as the first box I kept <clears throat> three, well, I don't really have any left that I'm supposed to be keeping, but we will see as we go along if there are any patterns that jump out at me. Oh, like, like what are you? I just like the mystery of it all. Okay, so we have here a let's sew pattern. We can see right here, really teeny teeny. It's 46.56 and a 20 and a half. It's probably from the 60s or 70s by that style of lettering. So probably I won't keep it, but let's find out what's inside. Yeah. Oh, oh, well that's fun. The previous box had a butterick that had a similar style of piece where it was like one big sheath across to be able to give you a color blocking situation. So this is four, six, five, six, 20 and a half, which does match the envelope. We love to see it. All right, not, not something I'm going to be looking to keep, but it is very cute and it is a bust 41. Oh, that's cute. Another little princess line, 92, 94. You marry and Martin. No, you're just a mail order. Okay. You can see the nice little princess line through here, a tab accent through the front and the buttons and a soft, soft, soft little kick pleat right there in the middle. Refold, what am I looking at? Oh no, just just sad and sad and got loose at some point. Do -do 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 I'm so sorry, I don't know why I did that. Next. Oh, that's cute. That's sort of like the one that I just made, except with a slightly different yoke. This is going to be another mail order, 4917, probably again from the 60s into the 70s. Cute little house dress, zip front, top button, large yoke and patch pockets, and bus 45. And definitely factory folded. All right. Oh, we have a little bit older now, I think. Wait. No, 71. The thing is, I get excited about plus sizes, but I do not like to make 70s things. They don't normally look good on me. So we can see here, 8176, 22 and a half. And yeah, that's basically the exact same dress that I made that had tape up all on it. <laughs> it's got that large yoke and a center panel, one dart on the side and short sleeves. So this will definitely be finding a new home because I've already made something like this. And it is definitely still factory folded, hooray. Okay. What's you got now? Now we have like a tunic vest from the 70s in simplicity 8359. You can see through here are the nice buttons, the patch pocket, and I would hope they would at least give you the pants, probably not the turtleneck. Yeah, so you get the pants and the dress tunic situation, which they don't call it a vest, but really it looked like a vest in the one image, but that's not what they're calling it. And it is a bust 45, so we love to see it. Ooh, aren't you cute? We've got all types of slip patterns in here. Love a good undergarment situation. It gives it the good baseline and sets you up to have a free flowing dress and keeps it a little bit cleaner. Do I wear them? No, I probably should. Thanks for asking. And this one is Butterick 6361. I really like this. This is cute. And I say that because look at this one. Look, look at that little like, woo, peekaboo moment. 
can I make that for myself? Absolutely not. Thank you so much for asking because gravity. <laughs> but I do enjoy that you can do a two piece slip or one piece like little, what's the word? Teddy, nighty, you know what I mean. And it is going to be a bus 38. Are you factory folded or just put back really nicely? You were just put back really nicely. That's totally fine. I don't have any more storage. What? Okay, we pause. Well, then that was fun. Moving on to Vogue 7254. This is going to be another bus 38. Another drapey moment, high slit. This one isn't quite as dramatic as the last one that we saw, but I do enjoy how it does actually give you the cups and the length is spectacular. Factory folded and not bobbed. We love to see it. Well, that's intriguing. Huh. This is Mrs. One Piece Swimsuit using two-way stretch fabric. What brand are you, my friend? Or are you just some kind of, uh, like, uh, an off-brand somebody made? Oh dear, you were cut and taped and oof. Oh no. Oh wait, no, those might be the tracings that are cut and taped. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Yet there is no brand on this whatsoever. It's literally just, yeah, it's just that. It's just the pattern. There, uh, there's no instructions. It's just the pattern. Uh, there's three notes. Here we go. <clears throat> A dramatic reading of the three notes. Number one, use swimsuit elastic in all hems. Number two, sew in molded bra. Number three, use lining in front from the waist down only. <laughs> uh, supposedly it shrinks to size six to 18. So bus 30 and a half through 40. Okay. Uh, that looks a little small for a bust 40 if I'm being real. But if you're in the middle of that somewhere and want to take a challenge here, go with it. I'll send you the tracings too. Ooh, down in the corner, it says Knit Kit Co. 1968. All right, cool. At least we have a year and the company, I guess. It's so pretty. It's so small, but it's so pretty. <sighs> this is Vogue 6914. Look at the little half capelet. Oh, and it drapes down the front. It's got pockets. It is going to be a bust 30 to a 32. So it is going to be on the smaller side, but I love this pattern. Every time, every time. Oh, fun. We got some aprons. First up is McCall's 3845. It says it includes all sizes in one envelope. And it's got a long, mid, and short length, which apparently at one point you could make out of plastic. All sizes means that it should go from a bust 31 and a half through a bust 40. Cute. I've seen this one before. Ooh, speaking of aprons. Cute, 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 cute. This is going to be Butterick 6341. You have got a really fun, not quite square because it's going to go in toward the neck a little bit. And this looks like a full apron. Yeah, look there, you can see right there. It absolutely is gonna be that full apron. You can also do the half apron with the very large pockets. Now it is a small, so it's a bust 30 to 32, but that is cute. And another apron. Advanced 5998. This one is going to be a size small, so it's gonna be a bust 28 through a 30. This is gonna be a cobbler apron with lots of little pockets and it does tie along the back. And continuing on to Butterick 7118. This one is a bust. 46. It's a bus 46. Do I need to make a suit? That's only a couple inches away from me. Well, that's unexpected. I I don't normally see <clears throat> suits in my size. I don't know. Could be a fun challenge though. Interesting. You are going to go in the, the Stephanie might make this pile, but let's look at it up close really fast. So you do have a cardigan you can they say it can either be a cardigan or a man tailored jacket suit. You can see here sort of the more cardigan style. There's no collar, but this version has the collar. It's got some really good darting and structure, nice pockets and a straight skirt. What am I going to wear a suit to y'all? I don't wear suits, but it's so cute and it's close to my size. 
I never see suits in my size. You come over here and the Stephanie might do something with that pile. Okay. Hmm. Bob? This you? Uh, this time I don't think so. I think that's just really foxed from age. Okay, okay, all right, I'll take it. Bob, this wasn't you. This is Vogue 8202. Now, thankfully, this is going to be the larger size range, so you've got the size 20 through a size 24, which is going to be a bus 42 through a 46. It is factory folded. I like the crossover. I actually like the sort of rolled collar style as opposed to the Peter Pan, which is pretty straight. That's a pretty standard pattern, but I actually like that one a lot. I will not keep that because that is not for me. Speaking of aprons, Simplicity 2570. This is going to be a size medium, so it's going to be a 34 to 36. It's again going to be that half, but look, you can see it's got this little like button on bib section. So you could either make it, you could do like a mix and match. You could go coordinating, like maybe the bib gets really dirty, but the apron doesn't. You can just wash that. Pretty handy apron. I'm a dirty liar. This is a 36 to a 38. Awesome. If I'm going to be wrong, I like to be wrong in the direction where I guess too small. Oh, you're cute. Look at that little apron with the tulip pockets. This is Hollywood 1224. Another bus 36 to 38. This is going to be a full apron. You can either do a square neckline or a V neckline. And it's going to have your little oven mitt. And, oh, y'all, look at that. Look at the detail of the little scallop bib. This is mail order 88.98, but oh my gosh, so cute. I like the big pockets. I love that detail. Could you take that detail and then turn it into a dress? I wonder what the back looks like. Oh, it's a little crossover button back. You could probably take this and then just keep the front as is with the cute little scallops and then just add a freaking gathered skirt, have a little back wrap skirt. Oh, that's so cute. Bus 42. Okay, I think ye about it. Let's go into the pile for Stephanie to think about. Hello, leg. Man, those are some shorty shorts right there. This is Simplicity 9859. It is another slip, like night set. You can do a slip, a longer slip, which clearly they did not choose to make on this gorgeous model. They gave her the shorty shorts and the little tiny top. It is going to be, however, the smallest size. So this is going to be a bust 30 and a half and a 31 and a half. AKA, not for me. Oh, oh, well, <laughs> that feels really light. That feels really light. Meh, why is it so light? It's a bus 38, dang it. This is New York 1313. It's a beautiful set of pajamas. It's very thin. I don't think it's all there. Such a bummer because the envelope's in such good condition. Ugh, that's such a bummer. Okay, but we're not gonna let that get us down. We're gonna keep on keeping on with Vogue 7703. This one is going to be a coat and dress with a drop waist into a pleated skirt and a bust 45. Heck yeah. I do enjoy that you do get both of these in the outfit. So you're getting a coat pattern and a dress pattern. So two for one. We love those kind of patterns. Cute little 1940s simplicity. Here we have simplicity 3090 where you can see someone at some point paid 49 cents for it. I'm probably going to leave that sticker on because that will peel all of this entirely away and this envelope is too fragile. So it's just going to stay right there. It is a bus 38, which we do love. It is going to be a straight line coat that you can either make probably about mid, about right at the hip, or you can do a slightly cropped version as well. This is really cute. I live in Florida, so I don't need coats. That's kind of cute. I like this advanced 5859. It's a size medium, so it's going to be, oh God, this is teenagers. So this bus is going to be a 31 through a 33. I do like the patch pockets. I like the little popped collar. It, it giving very 80s vibe, but definitely this is cusp late 40s, early 50s, because advanced was long gone by the 80s. Nothing is ever new in fashion. It's all just recycled from something else. Moving on to the cutest little outfit for kiddos. McCall 7919, it is a size five. You're going to get, it looks like another brother sister set. So you've got the shirt, 
Skirt, probably not the pants. Nope, JK, shirts only. Reading, what a shocking thing. But either way, it is just going to be a child's blouse set in a size five. Very cute. Ooh, what the, oh, cute. So this cute little McCall's 9164 by Ruffles and Lace for McCall's actually has not only the original sticker from the actual place that they bought it, but it has the, the receipt stapled on the back. Isn't that adorable? It was bought November 22nd. My guess probably was supposed to be a Christmas dress and then didn't happen. Been there, done that so many times. And it's factory folded because it never got used. Now we have another quick sew, but this time for the Wii set. Quick sew 1147. This is gonna be a size four through seven. And it's just gonna be look like a little pullover top. This is definitely 70s, 80s. Look at that like Farrah Fawcett hair situation going on a kid. But you can either do the pullover with long sleeve or with short sleeve. Oh, look at the little hearts. I wish you could still buy fabric like that. That's cute. Oh boy, does have masking tape. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna vaguely ignore the slightly creepy drawings here, but like, look at how cute and fanciful that is. I want that for me. <laughs> this is McCall's 8817 in a size five. It's Enchanted Forest for McCall's. Look at how cute that is. I love that they do the little lace front, the little ruffle collar, puff sleeve blouse. You've got one ruffle along the bottom. Very, very cute. Bob, I would be so mad at you if you peed on this. You did not, so thank you. Oh, and look, another one. Okay, this one, the eyeballs, they just kind of weirded me out. But that's okay, we're gonna not pay attention to that. We're gonna focus on the pattern. McCall's 8261. This is gonna be a one size, one envelope, so it'll be all the sizes. It is Little Darlings from McCall's with designs from Enchanted Forest. So we're sensing a theme here, the fanciful, the whimsical. We love that. Nice little nightgown set, possibly a robe. The downside of drawings like this is that they're so heightened that it's hard to tell what the heck you're looking at. So let's go to the back. Let's see what we're actually looking at. Yes. So we're seeing a nightgown and a robe. Okay, great. And it should have sizes three through six. Oh, my daughter will be so sad. This is absolutely not her size. And a Laura Ashley. This is McCall's 8973 and it's partnered with Laura Ashley for this one. This is gonna be a size six, a slightly pin tucked front Peter Pan collar, or you can do the little pinafore, which is always my way to do things. Very sweet. And it looks like it was bought the same time as the other one. So look, you have your receipt stapled right on the back as well. This one's got a lot of cute little girls clothes. My daughter's so mad because she doesn't fit any of these. And here we have another one. This is McCall's 8397. It is a four, five, six, and it's again, little darlings for McCall's. I like this cute little bodice transition here. And look how much floof there is. All the floof. All right, is that all that's in here? Are they small? No, there's a small one. Oh, but there's a reason there are small ones and those are gonna stay right the heck there. You got to wait to see what that is. Now we are moving on to the large scale format, AKA big ol' Vogue's. This is gonna be Vogue 1185. It is by Teal Trina. It is a one piece dress. It does have a slight definition on the side of being a different piece that you could either make as a maxi or a midi and the jacket pattern. Whoa, whoa, this is a bus 45. Holy cow. Well, that's cool. I didn't even know large format Vogue's went to that size. Huh, learn something new every day. And then out of left field. Vogue Attitudes International. Size eight through 12, number 1619 by Anna Sui. Like one version is just a pretty standard ampere waist, slightly fitted, goes out into a flare. The other one is possibly a wrap dress or a, a fakey wrap dress. Are, are you a real wrap dress or not? Wrap dress, absolutely a wrap dress. Okay, cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. The kid's not gonna be dusty because there's ruffles everywhere to catch around all that dust for them. Wow, Sunrise Design Babyland. Uh, it looks like you have all the accessories you could ever want with enough frills to last, you know, a couple, I, I ran out of the jokes because that's, that's just, it's very pink and green. 
Wow, that is, that is the thing that has happened. And it is, wow. Oh, da, ah, mm, ha, oh boy, that's, that's a little crispy there. Thankfully, I will be able to iron this back to being somewhat of a not so crispy critter here. But this is going to be a pillow pattern. I have seen this before. It is Vogue 1678. It has shell patterns, a butterfly, a rose, and some like oversized leaves. So if you're into like the cottage core, fairy core, you want more leaves around, but you don't want to kill them like me because you can't keep a plant alive to save your soul. This is the pattern for you. Woo. She's, she's so big, she barely fits in frame. This is a candle knits. It's size 16 and a half through 26 and a half, which we love that sizing. It is going to be just a good shift dress. Like it's a very basic dress, but it is meant for like a knit fabric. So if you're going for like the fall, if you just want a good basic, this would be a really good start. And it's sealed and it's never been opened. So you definitely know no one's ever cut it. That's good. Oh, okay. What are you? So this is Vogue 3001. It is going to be a basic fit. It is a bust 35. So it's almost like a shell pattern because you can see here, like they're showing you where you can cut that away. They're showing you where you can cut that away. They're showing you where the seam is and all these different options. That's really cool. And the nice thing is, is there's actually two of them. So I have bust or I have 3001 we also have 3000. Uh, ignore that. I'll, I'll get it all ironed and put it back the way it's supposed to. But that's really cool. 3001 is the teen sizing. So that'd be the 35. And this is the Mrs. sizing, which is a bus 36. Very nifty. It's been a while since I've seen something like that. Oh, how'd you sneak into here? You wily little caftan, you. Simplicity 5216. Literally says large everybody. I mean, yes, but what does that mean? Is it just a large? Because if it's just the large, then it's a bust 40 through a 43. But why everybody, why do we need to go that far? Anyway, it's sort of a caftan or like, I mean, I guess it's sort of caftan too, or a pajama situation. And it is a bust 40 to 43. I will get all these pieces back inside the envelope because they have run free. Oh. I'm laughing because my mother would have made this. Please note, I'm not trying to make fun of anyone. If you enjoy this, please get it and enjoy it. But I'm just like, my mother would have relished making every ounce of this pattern. Oh, I almost wonder if she did. Cause like we had those curtains, we had those towels, we had like the toilet thing with the ruffle cover. This one from Sunrise Design is called Powder Room. It is also still sealed, but oh my God. <laughs> ah! That's hilarious. Okay. And the last of the Holy McLarge formats is going to be Stretch and Sew 1310, which is going to be a halter swimsuit. Really nice lines. It should be a bust 30 through a 40 and Huzzah, it has not been cut, so it's been used correctly and just traced. Because you trace this, and then you use that tracing. So you never actually have to cut into these patterns. Which is why these tend to last a very long time. Unlike, as we've seen, some of the others. <sighs> we've made it to the last two amazing patterns. Because they were right on top of each other. Women's World 5663. It is a size 14, so it's a bust to 32. And it is a beautiful 1930s straight line dress with a four piece, a three piece skirt. You can see the back is one. This is two. It's a nice little kick pleat so you can move. Got some patch pockets, a very large yoke, collar and like a long thin sleeve or you can do a short sleeve. And that is unbobbed. And just go right along with it. Let's stay in the 1930s. For McCall 8729. It's a size 18, so it's going to be a bust 36. This is another straight line dress. Another very wide yoke with, I think like a little petal sleeve, but look, you can also do sort of the drop sleeve and then attach it down here. <sighs> That's so pretty. I love these patterns. Well, 
That's all the patterns in the box, and now we're down to... Which one is Stephanie going to keep? Oh, goodness. I never thought that I would have a suit pattern in the running for me to keep. But that is spectacular. It really, it really is spectacular. It would be a huge challenge. I am not good at tailoring. I've never even tried tailoring, so I can guarantee I would not be good at it. I would try it because when in doubt, try things. But the scallops on the apron. But do I wear aprons? No, I do not. Could I turn it into a dress? That's a real possibility. But again, it's a bus 42. So it's a longer way to go. And I have other apron patterns that are also very cute that I've said I was going to make that are a bus 40, 42 that I have never done. So I think we know our answer. The apron will be available. I am going to keep the suit. Wait a minute, there were no bobbed patterns this time. Hooray! No bobbed patterns. That's amazing. Well, we love to see that. So that means all of these patterns, except for the suit, will be available on my website, backroomfinds.com, as of this here video. If you wanna go back and watch the previous box, I will put it right here. And YouTube thinks that you will enjoy this video right here. And until next time, folks, so in chaos, bye. Welcome back. 22 and a half is what? Oh, 45. Hot damn. What the hell do you say?